There are two different types of treatments dealers can use on diamonds to remove inclusions or make them less noticeable. One is through fracture filling and the other laser drilling. Let's start with laser drilling. Some diamonds have black inclusions that are very noticeable and if you could remove the black color, the inclusion would become less obvious, making the diamond appear better. Let me explain how that's done. First, small holes less than two tenths of a millimeter or one five hundredth of an inch are drilled down into the diamond using a laser. Then, acid is forced into those holes to burn out the black color inside the inclusion. Once the process is complete, the diamond looks better, but now your diamond has holes drilled into it. Would you really want a diamond with holes? <laughs> Since the laser drill holes are so small, you may never notice them, and the only way to detect them is with a microscope. You would think that jewelry stores would be required by law to disclose if a stone has been drilled. Well, not necessarily. According to the Federal Trade Commission, and I quote, sellers should tell consumers about gemstone treatments in certain circumstances. Notice it doesn't say must tell. And there's more. If a gemstone treatment is permanent and it doesn't create special care requirements, or if it significantly affects the value of the gemstone, then the salesperson is not required to tell you. And of course, laser drilling is permanent. And who determines if the value is significantly affected? So I suppose a diamond seller could argue that removing the black inclusion makes the diamond more valuable. Therefore, he would not be required by law to disclose the treatment. This is a classic example of buyer beware. Then there is fracture filling. The process of filling a diamond is no different than filling a chip in a car windshield. Many diamonds have inclusions that break the surface of the stone. And diamond fillers who use this process can force a liquid resin into the crack and make them disappear. Now, there's good and bad news. The good news is the treatment is not permanent. So legally, it must be disclosed to the buyer. The bad news is it's not permanent. <laughs> and if the diamond is exposed to high heat, like when it's being repaired, the resin will evaporate and the inclusion will become visible again. So when you see a large fluctuation in diamond prices for stones that appear to be graded the same, look beyond the certificate and you will find the answer. I've always said, no one is giving away diamonds. If the price looks too good to be true, then it probably is.